the Lord will send against you blight and panic and disaster in all that your hand reaches that you do until you are destroyed and until you perish swiftly because of the evil of your acts as you will have forsaken me. The Lord will strike you with the burning rash of Egypt and with hemorrhoids and with boils and with scabs from which you will not be able to be healed. The Lord will strike you with madness and with blindness and with confounding of the heart and you will grope at noon as the blind man gropes in darkness. Now what do you need in order to hack a human being? You need two things. You need a lot of computing power and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. But control of data might enable human elites to do something even more radical than just build digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design. But I don't think there is anything essentially new about this uh, disseminating fictions and, and, and errors. I mean, there is nothing that, I don't know, Goebbels, Joseph Goebbels didn't know about all this idea of fake news and, uh, and post-truth. He famously said that if you repeat a lie often enough, people will think it's the truth, and the bigger the lie, the better. The guy you just heard from is Yuval Noah Harari a Jewish homosexual scholar who claims that God is dead and he and scientists can now make you as gods. This is the same lie that's been told over and over and over again. During the building of the Tower of Babel, there were three types of people. The first type wanted just to go make war on God. The second type of people wanted to replace God with their gods. And the third type of people are the ones who want it to be as God. So listen to some of the Bible verses that I'm going to put up in the rest of this video. And ask yourself, are we living in Babylon or one of the daughters of Babylon? Are we living in one of the harlots or are we one of the abominations? You should really think about it because when Babylon falls, it's going to fall in an instant. And people are going to go mad because they have drank the lie. Thus said the Lord, I am about to rouse against Babylonia a destroying wind. And I will send strangers to Babylonia, and they shall scatter her. Flee from the midst of Babylonia. Each man save your life. Do not be wiped out through her crime. For it is vengeance time for the Lord. Requital he pays back to her. A golden cup was Babylonia in the Lord's hand, making all the earth drunk. From her cup the nations drank, and so the nations maddened. Of a sudden Babylonia fell and was broken. Wail over her, for her judgment has touched the heavens and mounted to the sky. You who settle by many waters, abundant in treasures, your end has come. When you come into the land that the Lord your God is about to give you, you shall not learn to do like the abhorrent things of these nations. There shall not be found among you one who passes his son or his daughter through fire, a speller of charms, a soothsayer, or a diviner, or a sorcerer, or a chanter of incantations, or an inquirer of ghosts, or familiar spirit, or one who seeks out the dead. For whosoever does these is the Lord's abhorrence. And because of these abhorrent things, the Lord your God is about to dispossess them before you. You shall be wholehearted with the Lord your God. For these nations which you are about to dispossess heed soothsayers and spellers of charms. But you, the Lord your God, has not given such. Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God and they will be my children. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, 
they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death.